Higgins Pfeiffer restricts Derbyshire in Bristol. Derbyshire will probably be preparing for another season in Division 2 next year, now 48 points adrift of Lancashire at the top of the table. Their opponents Gloucestershire, however, are still in with a chance of a long-awaited return to Division 1, and they're fighting for one of three promotion places at the top of Division 2. And with clouds rolling in over the Patanair County ground, they take the opportunity to bowl first against their hosts. And it proved to be the right decision early on. Payne finding the edge of Godelman's bat to see the Derbyshire captain out for a duck. His opening partner suffered the same fate, albeit with three runs to his name. Ryan Higgins this time with the wicket. And it was Higgins who broke the short, stubborn partnership of Lace and Madsen, bowling the latter for 21 as he began to play his shots. Derbyshire played their way past 50, ticking along at a decent rate, but with the threat of further wickets still in the air. Josh Shaw announced his return from Yorkshire with the important wicket of Lewis Deploy, caught by Bracey for 15. Higgins then removed Lace for 16, trapped LBW, the last of the top order batsmen dispatched before lunch. They'd reached the interval at 62 for 5, Gloucestershire in firm control, having exploited the conditions to their advantage. Harvey Hussain and Alex Hughes had a rebuilding task on their hands and both looked to dig in. But despite that reticent, they lost another wicket without adding much to the total. Hussain could only edge Higgins through to Hammond to depart for six. Hughes and Critchley came together to see Derbyshire edge towards 100, but they were seven down before they got there. Ben Allison trapping Critchley LBW for his first ever Gloucestershire wicket. Finn Hudson Prentice would finally provide Hughes with the partner he'd been craving. The pair came together to steer their side past 100 and confidence began to grow. When a Hudson Prentice single brought up the 150, Derbyshire looked in the game. But the next ball saw an end to the session and an end to the innings of Hughes bowled by Higgins for 39. Hudson Prentice fell shortly after the restart, Shaw finding an edge through to Roderick for his second of the day. Rampall and Van Beek would show some resilience resisting the Gloucestershire attack and looking to earn Derbyshire a valuable batting point. They just about managed it when Rampall was removed, Bracey with the catch at second slip, Derbyshire all out for 200. Dent and Bracey were the men tasked with getting the innings started in the final few overs of the day. But that peaceful start was brought to an end by Lewis Rees. Bracey caught behind for five. Roderick followed in the next over, Rampall removing the number three for a duck. That would be the extent of their losses, however, and when Stumps was called, the score was 46 for two. Gloucestershire well placed as they head into day two. No Derbyshire batsman had managed to grab the innings by the scruff of the neck, their scorecard littered with starts. Higgins had been the pick of the Gloucestershire bowlers with figures of 5 for 45.